It... Hello, it's Andrea Williams, and I just wanted to take the time to up to share a video blog called "It's Just a Glitch." So the last week, which has just been the next, so in the past week, after I gave you my twelve-week update, I've had a setback. Huh, wouldn't you know it? Just saying, oh, I'm roaring right along and what happens? I do outpatient physio. I do it twice a week to continue to um, improve my walking and, and strengthen the muscles in my arms and get yeah, a little bit of strengthening and balance work um, to improve, you know, our stairs and standing on one leg and those kinds of things but mostly we practice my walking to improve the walking so on march so today is march 13th friday the 13th and last friday so i go tuesdays and fridays and last friday i'm in physio and we were really working on my walking and all of a sudden we took a step and boom i couldn't move I couldn't take another step. It was just a sharp, terrible pain in my down, right up in my stump. They had to go back to the therapy room, get my cane for me to walk. One of the workers at the hospital was running to get me a wheelchair, but I was too proud to go in a wheelchair. <laughs> Can you believe that? Even though we're in a wheelchair all the time. Um, yeah, so what happened? No idea. Didn't expect it. Definitely have been very upset the past week that it happened, you know. Um, and I was supposed to go to therapy on Tuesday and child care fell through. Like I do have a nanny, but people can't make it all the time. So they didn't even know because it didn't go on the Tuesday. So Thursday, I actually had to go in for a fitting um, for my next stage you know, ugly prosthetic, you know, we don't get our definitive one for quite some time, but I am getting a smaller one because my, my stump, whatever we want to call it, have, has, um, shrunk enough that I have to get a new leg. Um, so I guess I'm, I'm going down to the next stage liner. So you got to go down to the next stage plastic mold leg. Um, so I go in Thursday for my, um, casting and I was just starting to feel a little bit better and oh the minute I got up from that I was just in that terrible sharp pain again and I did rest all weekend um, and I barely went anywhere like I went to um, a volunteer committee meeting on the Wednesday night and that was the only time I actually put walked on it and that was using canes like crutches I should say and not weight bearing like I was just putting a toe down. I get back to therapy, physiotherapy on the Friday. And they were shocked. Because my main physiotherapist hadn't been there when it happened. Um, and so they were stunned. They had no idea that I was in that much. And like I say, it, it was bad. So the good thing about it, positive outcomes that came about it was we sat down as a team, the physiotherapist, the physiotherapist aid, myself. Um, we looked at video of how I walked before. And I think that was really important because other physiotherapists, when I was in inpatient rehab, some of them had actually, I had made a point of making sure people met me before the amputation so that they could see the state that my foot was in, my leg was in, my hip was in, and they could see how I walked um, and the condition that I was in so that they would understand the limitations that I would have coming out even with a, with a, a prosthetic leg and know that, wow, I am doing so well. Um, the the team, I'm in a different hospital for my outpatient rehab, so it's kind of strange. So we, we sat down and I said, I really want you to watch the video, and it's on the YouTube channel, so that you could actually see 
you know, what it was like. And, um, um, and so we did that. And I feel like we're now all on the same page. Um, and they, they said exactly that, you know, but we, we're walking well. We want to continue doing the walking and strengthening my walking. But um, my knee is never going to be perfectly straight because it never it hasn't been for 25 years. So I was always worried about that um, and that possibly we would pull muscles or, or things that we don't need to pull. So... Um, I'm glad that pressure's kind of been taken off of me because I'm a really hard worker in therapy, but I don't want to I don't want to do damage. It's always been kind of my fear, and I think everything will come with time. So I was really really thrilled that we sat and got on the page and that they would seen the before and okay. And the second thing is um they think that all it is is that we tore a little bit of scar tissue and now the plan is just we will you have to keep your prosthetic leg on no matter what no matter how much it hurts and like trust me it hurts but you keep the prosthetic leg on and you just don't wait bare so I'm in my wheelchair a lot this week you know at work um, and but it keeps the weight off with the uh, footrest and then when I'm going to do other stuff, I'm more comfortable just using my crutches and going around that way. And and then we kind of just laughed about it. Well, you know, I was really disappointed. And then we just laughed about going, okay, it's a glitch. You know, I've been sailing through, except for a couple of smaller things, but it might take another week. It might take two, but it's still a really minor thing. Like It hurts like the Dickens getting the leg on. Um and then weight bearing at the moment. But once it's on and that, we're fine. So we all have these little set setbacks, but I liked how they said, well, it's just a glitch. And it kind of feels that way when you're putting something artificial on. Um, so at the end of the day, not sure, like I say, it was just a bad step and it's when they're constantly correcting you on each step. And I'm like, can we just kind of go with the flow a little bit more? And, not keep interrupting each step and and we all agreed on that and I'm not and that's not what caused it it was just whatever you know so everything will be fine and I'll give you an update later when I'm rolling through and nobody can notice when I have an artificial leg again so um, yeah so I'm really that was my Friday the 10th Friday the 13th and hopefully Next week, we'll be back on track and rolling again. Maybe it'll be two, but those are kind of the ups and downs when we're recovering and getting used to it. All right, my daughter says it's time to end the video because I talk too much. So have a nice weekend, everybody, and be safe out there and practice all our safe practices with our um, um, infectious diseases that we have. But again, with that, it's like, as long as we practice safe practices, we'll be fine. Okay, take care. Well, and be safe out there if anyone's struggling with that. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.